A wise man once said, save your trauma for your mama. No one really said that. So in the grand tradition of monkey life, we're gonna jump into another subject we know very little to nothing about, trauma kits. We all have our experiences with the first aid kit that we have at home. Stick strip with new super stick. But when you hit the road, you don't wanna be in a situation where you hurt yourself and you can't fix it with a, a band-aid. Tis but a scratch. So I picked up something a little bit more substantial and I got myself a trauma kit. Now granted, disclaimer, I didn't do that much research before I purchased one of these things. No one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? And that may or may not have been smart of me. Pardon me, Mr. Perfect! It is what it is. Looking back, I probably would have bought my trauma kit in pieces instead of one bulk kit. I find now, after I've done the research, that you can get better deals buying items separately as opposed to in one complete unit. But the past is the past and we gotta work with what we work with. It's not a bad kit and I think I could build off it. So uh, let's get into it. So the very first thing that comes with the kit is the bag. Now this is a substantial bag and it's got other interior bags that are Velcroed in there for uh, different parts of the kit that you can access and it has a clear front, which makes it easy to identify what you're jumping into if you can't think straight because you're stressed the fuck out because you're bleeding all over the place. Ah! Okay. This is a great bag. It's uh, made very well. It's substantial. It's robust. I need something robust. It's got straps on the side, which allow you to add other compartments if you wanted to add on to this kit. Well, the secret is you got to coordinate. Uh huh. So thumbs up on the bag. It's good shit. So what do we got inside? Let's break it down. All right, it looks like we got a water bladder to go inside the backpack. This is a great addition for a first aid kit. Now again, my knowledge is limited. I'm not a smart man. But the most important thing uh, uh, for all of us is to stay hydrated, but also it's a great way to initially clean the wounds. So if you pick up your trauma kit and you're not thinking straight, it's great to have the built-in hydration system. So this kit is from Gear Bags. The reason why I was so attracted to Gear Bags is because they advertised as uh, they supply EMTs. So I felt like a lot of this uh, stuff was legit and it got a, a really good review. Like I said, you can always add on to the kit. So you got to as a starter kit, this is substantial. Plenty of gauze. More oh gauze. More oh gauze. More oh gauze. Oh and other ace uh, uh, bandages, some eye pads, other ways to wrap sprained ankles, etc., etc. Pulmonary resuscitator. It's good to have a trauma kit, it's good to be prepared, but ultimately it's my responsibility to know how to use it. God forbid I'd want to make the situation worse and not know what I'm doing and hurt somebody by applying these, these tools. Smelling salts, a little pocket knife. That's handy. It's not the best pocket knife, but it's not the worst. And uh, you know, in a pinch, in a situation where you calls for a pocket knife, it's good to have one on hand. Yeah, Berman Airways, another thing I need to learn about. Now, I don't want to get all excited and start shoving things down people's throats without knowing what I'm doing. That's gross. Don't make it weird. Surgical sponges, all right. Oh, mosquito and bug bite pads. Yeah, three custom cold packs, very handy. Bleeding control spray. Oh, some eye wash, purified water. It's a good little pack. So we got some trauma shears, a variety of tweezers, some kind of scalpel system in there. Razor blade. It's a finger splint, fantastic. Tongue suppressor. Oh great, emergency blanket, perfect. Burn spray. Last trip in Mammoth, I burnt the hell out of my head. Burn spray. Ah, some glucose. Put this in your water, revive yourself right up. Tourniquet. This kit is actually turning out to be pretty substantial. I'm pretty impressed. Gloves, medical gloves. Another blanket, ah, two blankets, perfect. What are these, multiple packs of the same triangle bandages. Got a wide assortment of uh, different sorts of bandages. Gauze. More gauze. It's great. Face shield, just in case you gotta get up in somebody's face. Stitches for all the snitches. Pressure dressing for when the shit gets real serious. 
fingertip oximeter, nasal airway kit. Again, feel free to bust my balls on any of the stuff that I'm showing you. If you feel like I need to get some other stuff, please, you know, share that with me. Know this, I'm still planning on getting training and I hope, hopefully I'll be sharing that with you as well. Arm splints, they fold out, it's great uh, on the go cast. Digital thermometer, this kit even has a blood pressure monitor. I'm starting to think that I made a good decision with this kit. I know a lot of people like frown upon, you know, all-in-one kits because they're always lacking something, but gear bags has been coming through with some good pieces. Stethoscope, rather large trauma dressing right here. Two of them, quick clot dressing, neck support collar. This takes training too. Don't just start like fucking with people's necks after an accident gotta know some stuff and I plan on learning. Antiseptic spray, chest seal, burn relief gel, like this is some like serious burn and like you stick your hand in some fire and really fuck up your, your skin, this is some like that type of gel. Triple antibiotic ointment, when your shit is triple infected. Big ass band-aids. So there you have it, that's my first trauma kit. Now there's still some stuff I need to get, pretty stoked with what I did get. I was pleasantly surprised that it was a little more than I was anticipating it to be. Now I have talked to a couple of EMT buddies of mine and they've turned me on to some materials that I can add to my trauma kit. And I'm also thinking I wanna get additional pieces of stuff that I already have for additional trauma kits. I like to have one full-time on Papa Burb. I like to have one full-time on Sammy's Jeep. I would even like to have one full-time in the apartment. And this one will be my on-the-go. I'll throw it in Papa Burb when we're doing long road trips and adventures. I think that that's the complete vision of the trauma category in Monkey Life. Without a doubt, 100%. Training is the most important thing for me. So I will be getting my training. I will be sharing with you what I've learned when I get trained and possibly, you know, share resources with you on where you can get trained in your area for your trauma kit. Because if we're gonna go on adventures, we gotta figure this shit out together. Yes, I have. Look, just a flesh wound.